of those deals with Michael, we were talking to him and he said, you know, it's more of the, he can't stride out as much. He can still get to his position. Are yeah. you aware of that? Yeah, we are. And we, and we talked about that continuously, you know, throughout the course of the game. You know, there were certain plays where, you know, I asked him if he did this for a certain reason, he would explain to me, you know, it was a little bit more because of his hamstring. Um, but, you know, he'd come back on a play saying, hey, man, you know, we should do this, but, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that or um, just things like that. But we were, tef we were definitely feeling out, you know, what he could do throughout the course of the game and, you know, obviously not trying to go out there and, and blow anything out or, you know, but at the same time, you know, be effective and be the playmaker that he is. So that has to help you a lot that you went through that last Saturday plus this week in practice. Yeah, absolutely. How much was he able to get out there and, and work today? Um, Mike's continually, you know, doing as much as he can. Uh, again, um, you know, he's definitely monitoring what he's able to do, but uh, he's still trying to contribute in any way that he can and, and, and really be a leader on this team um, and set the example for some of the younger guys. We've talked to you so much the last few weeks about just kind of building chemistry with the receivers, and all of a sudden you got basically an entire new set of guys to work with. Are you yeah. just how much chemistry do you have got with guys like Robbie and Bennett? and you know guys that you know haven't been on the field you, you'd really be surprised um i really really credit um you know this the lack of panic that we have in this situation and really just the confidence we have in all those other guys with the time that we spend the summer um the, the time you spend the summer with the player run practices that's some of the most valuable time you'll get all season because as a quarterback and as a receiver you're doing nothing but developing chemistry on on any given route um, you know, concept, whatever it is. So when these guys are getting rolled through in practice, I mean, it's just like, you know, they, they know what they're doing. Um, they're running their routes correctly and, and we're just moving forward. It's almost like, you know, you're not missing a beat really. So I think from the outside, we see you guys kind of starting over a receiver almost, but it doesn't sound like that's the perspective that you guys have. No, and, and I've got such, I've got a great confidence in those guys. They've got a great confidence in their own ability. And really, I mean, they're, they're happy to be in this opportunity and, and you know, they want to be on the field. Um, they understand that this is a great opportunity to kind of seize that opportunity and, um, you know, just make plays for our team. Does it kind of require you to be a little bit more hands-on with them? I, or I guess on Saturday, do you think it will? Because I, yeah. I guess in the sense, with Mike, you're not really going over all the adjustments and everything. Right, I mean, he's just, I mean, he's got the experience there, yeah. so it's not as, as needed. But um, really the biggest adjustment with those guys was actually not on the field, but, but off the field. Um, we spent every day after practice watching film as a group together um, and talking through each play, um, and literally going through each play and, and making sure that we were on the same page. Um, they were doing what we asked, you know, they were doing what they thought they should do. And um, we made adjustments when, you know, we didn't see eye to eye. Yeah.